And we're back with the next part. So what we are going to be doing in this one then is carrying on from where we left off. And all you want to do once you come inside is to come up to the second floor. And the first room on the right, what we're going to start off by doing, is removing the torches already in and to put them in a better place. So once you have actually done that, what we are going to be adding the corner to this room is going to be our desk. So what we're going to do to start this off is from the corner, you just want to count three blocks out, and here just place an upside down stair facing inwards that followed by two slabs. Then behind the last slab you just added another two slabs, followed by one more upside down stair. So we aren't just going to be putting anything on our desk, but what we are going to have in front of it is a chair. And for this, what you want to do is just add a wooden slab, and then around it, you want to add two signposts. Then after this, to finish off this room, what we're going to be adding is a painting, and also some bookshelves in the corner. Now for a painting, then what you want to do is come in front of this grey wall section, and here you just want to add a 2x2 two two painting. Then as I mentioned to finish off this room, what you want to do is come to the corner over here, we're just going to place it three wide with our bookshelves and for all of these, you just want to make sure they're all three blocks in height. And there you go, that's this room done. Uh, what we are going to do now though is come back out into our lobby, we're just going to start off by doing the same as what we did in here and just removing the torches already in it and just adding them on the wall. And then after this what we can add is a couple of chairs and also a couple of oak leaves on the opposite wall. Now that we've done that for our chair then, what we're going to start off by doing is you just want to come to the corner over here and on the fourth block out what you want to do is begin by placing uh, 9 blocks out with your oak wood planks. Then on top of all of these, what we want to add is one layer of snow. So in front of this now on every other block, what you want to add is an oak wood plank. Then for our chairs what you should have now is 5 remaining spaces, and in all of these what we are going to add is 6 layers of snow. So there you go, that's our chair added. Uh, what we are going to do now that's come to the opposite wall, and in front of our grey wall, what we are just going to add is two pillars with our oak leaves. Now for both of these in, you should want to make them four high, and you want to leave a one block space between each of them. And there you go, that was the last thing we're going to be adding to our lobby. Uh, the next room we're going to be coming and doing though is going to be our cafe and what we're going to start off by doing for this one is you want to grab all the materials we're going to need and then afterwards we can start by adding our torches. So now just sort out our torches for this room. Then what you want to do once you've done that is in front of this court section over here, what you want to do is start by placing uh, 5 blocks back with your courts.
Then on the right of the last block, just another five. After this, what we're going to be adding above our courts, as you can see in the image, is our grey wall. Now what you want to do to start this off is come to the grey wall over here on the top block. And from here, you just want to extend it eight blocks back with your grey wall. Then on the right of the last block, uh, you can just extend it all the way to the wall. So once you have it done this on the row inside of your grey wall, what you want to do is make it too wide or all the way round. Now that we've done that, what we are just going to add in the middle of this section is a grey wall pillar. And for this, what you want to do is count from a corner three blocks out. And on the third block, just counting another three more blocks in front. That way, you just want to place two wide with your grey wall. Then for both of these, just extend them up as high as they'll go. So in front of this pillar, what we are going to be adding is a couple of brewing stands, and also above that, a couple of item frames with some potions in. What you want to do to start this off, half a block off the ground, is just add uh, two quartz slabs. Then just your brewing stands on top, and above these, uh, two item frames with some potions in. So all we have got left to do now to finish off our calf is just to add our seating. So for this, just come into the corner here where we can start off by adding our first seat and you want to place it two blocks out with your wooden stairs. Then what you want to add one block away from this is an upside down stair facing inwards with a slab next to that. Then just two more chairs facing the opposite way. So one block away from this on the left, what we're going to be adding is our second lot of seating, and all of this is going to be one block wide, but what you want to start off by doing is placing a wooden stair, then one block away, an upside down stair, followed by one more stair facing the opposite way. So you go, well, that's the first two lots of seating added, uh, what we are going to do now in the opposite corner, is start off by doing exactly the same, except this time you just want to come uh, one block out from the corner. We just want to begin up by placing uh, two wooden stairs. Then one block away from this, so you just want to use the same design for our table again, by having an upside down stair with a slab next to that. For the last lot of seat, and then it is again going to be the same design as the second lot, but this time you just want to come up one block away behind the last chair we just added. We just want to start off by adding one wooden stair, then leaving a one block space and upside down stair, followed by another stair, facing the opposite way. And there you go, that's our calf finished off. Uh, what we are going to do now that it's come out into the corridor, we just want to start removing the torches already on the floor and just putting them on the walls. Then once you've done that, just come to the other end of the building, we're just going to start off by doing exactly the same and then after that, what we can go ahead and do is just mark out the floor plan for this room. So now we'll just add our torches back in and what we're going to do for this is on our light grey wall, you just leave a three block space between each torch apart from the last one, we just want to leave a two block space. For our floor plan then, what we're going to start off by doing is you just want to come to the corner here and on the third block in front, we're just going to add uh, two blocks out of our light grey wall. Then after that, two blocks away, what we want to add is four wide of your light grey wall, followed by two block space where you want to add another five up, followed by another two block space, we're going to add two more blocks to finish off. So 
So once you have done that behind the 4 and 5 block space, what you want to do behind the far right hand block is just extend it all the way to the wall. Then what you can do for all of the roads of light grey wall is you can just extend them all up as high as they'll go. So after this and all of the three two block spaces, what you want to do is fill in all of the top two rows for all of them. Then before we go ahead and actually furnish the rooms up, what you want to do is fill in this two block space over here. So in all three of the rooms what we are actually adding is the same three things and that's going to be our bed, our bookshelves and also a chair. But what we're going to do before we go ahead and furnish them is just want to go ahead and add some torches in each of them and then we can go ahead and furnish them afterwards. Now just come back to the first room we added and what we're going to add in here first is just going to be our bed and what we're going to do for this is just want to place uh, two white wall blocks in the corner and in front of this just two by two of a red wall and then on top of the white wall blocks just your white carpet. After that in the corner next to this just two high of your bookshelves and then we can add our chair afterwards. For our chair then what you want to do is come one block out from a corner, we're just going to place two blocks out of our wooden slabs and on the side of each of these we're just going to add a signpost. And there you go that's the first room done, uh, so we are basically going to have the same design for each of the rooms. What we want to do to start off the next one is again come to the corner where we're just going to add our bed to start off with. Now just add our bookshelves in the corner that connects our glass and our quartz together. So the only real difference between this room and the last room is instead of placing our chair one block out away from a corner, what we're going to do is just place it directly in the corner, so you only need to add one signpost on this chair. That's the second one done, and now we'll just come over to the third one, where again we're just going to start off by coming to the corner and placing our bed. And for your bookshelves in this room, what you want to do is come diagonal to our glass here. We're just going to again uh, place too high with them. Then to finish off this room, what we are just going to add is our chair. But instead of actually placing it in front of our bed, what we are just going to add is on the left hand side. So again, just leave it a one block space where you just want to add two slabs with two signposts on these. And there you go, well, that's all three of these rooms finished off. Uh, and that does actually finish off every room we're going to be adding to this floor. Uh, but what we are going to do now that's come up to the top floor, we're just going to finish off this part by adding our floor plan for this floor. Uh, so what we want to do to start this off is we're just going to come to our elevator shaft and just want to fill in these two bottom rows here with your grey wall.
Then what you want to do, same as what you've done for the two previous floors. Uh, for the top two front rows, what you want to do is just fill them both in. After this start of marking out a floor plan for this floor, what you want to do is come to the corner here which you want to begin up by placing it two blocks out of your grey wall, then just leaving a two block space and another five with your grey wall again. Then what you want to do in front of the far left hand block of grey wall, is you just want to count to the third block in front and here, just adding up four blocks out of your light grey wall. Then just another 5 in front of the far right hand block. And lastly for this bit on the right hand side the last block another 2, followed by another 14 in front of the far right hand block again. And once you have done that, just come in front of the grey wall pillar that's next to our glass, where we're just going to place 22 blocks back with our quartz, so it should just finish in line with our light grey wall that we just added. And there you go, that was the last thing we're going to be doing for this part. Uh, what we are going to be doing in the next part though is carrying on with our floor plan, and also we'll hopefully be able to finish off furnishing this floor as well. But again, apart from that, we're just going to leave it there for this episode, and I hope you enjoyed.